Hello, I am teacher Egbekoba, and in this video, I'll be talking about standard form. Why do we need to talk about standard form? Standard form helps you to handle small or very large numbers more conveniently. When you are dealing with small numbers or big numbers, the use of standard form helps you to be able to handle those numbers conveniently. At the end of this video, you'll be able to convert a number to standard form and you will also learn how to convert a number in standard form to ordinary form now when a number is in standard form the number is written in the form a times 10 raised to the power of n okay so it is written as a times 10 to the power n the a is a number that is greater or equals to one but it must not be more than 10 meaning it is greater or equals to 1 and less than 10 why the n is either a positive integer or a negative integer meaning n can be numbers like minus 1 minus 2 minus 20 that's negative integers and n can also be positive integers like 20 40 50 100 and so on and sometimes even n can be zero so a number is in standard form if you can express the number in the form a times 10 to the power n now let's take an example on how to convert a number in ordinary form to standard form example write 257000 in standard form solution 257,000 is given to us. Can you see any decimal points? No, there is no decimal point. In mathematics, since there is no decimal point, you can just put a decimal point at the end, like a period or a full stop. When you are converting to standard form, your aim is to move the decimal point behind the first non zero digits so i'm going to move this decimal point and i'm going to stop behind the first non zero digit as i move i count so you can count with me 1 2 3 4 5 the digit 2 is the first non zero digit. So I move the decimal point five times. One, two, three, four, five. So to express 257,000 in standard form, my answer will be 2. My decimal point is now behind 2. Then I will have 5, 7, then 0, 0, 0, multiplied by. 10 to the power 5. This 5 is the 5 we counted when moving the decimal point. So it's the same 5. Some people will write their answer like this 2.57 times 10 to the power 5. So the number 257,000 is the same as 2.57 multiplied by 10 to the power 5. Let's take another example. Example. Write 0 0.019 in standard form. Solution. Given 0 0.019. We want to write it in standard form. Your aim is to move the decimal point behind the first non-zero digit. In this example, the number one is the first non-zero digit. So I'm going to move the decimal point. Remember in the first example, there was no decimal point. I add to add the decimal point. In this case, there's a decimal point already, so I'll just move. So you move one. 
two. So I move two times. One, two. So if you want to write your answer, you write it as zero, zero, one point nine multiplied by ten. Then how many times did you move? You moved two times. In this case, you move the decimal point to the right. Unlike the first example that we moved the decimal point to the left. Anytime you move the decimal point to the right and you are converting a number to standard form, you introduce a negative minus. So I'm going to put negative and the two. Okay. Now the negative is because you move the decimal point to the right. Assuming you move it to the left, like in the first example, then there is no need to introduce a negative or a minus. So our answer will be 0, 0, 001.9 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 2. You can write this better as 1.9 because the zeros in front are not significant multiplied by 10 to the power negative 2. And that is your final answer. So, when you are changing the number to standard form, you move the decimal point and you stop behind the first non-zero digit. If you move the decimal point to the left, like in the first example, you don't introduce a negative. If you move it to the right, like in this example we just did, you introduce a negative, like we did for negative 2. Now, the next thing you are going to see on your screen is an exercise for you to practice. The more you practice, the better you become.